Nintendo Wii is one of the most universally loved video game consoles of all time. And for good reason! It had so many memorable and fun games, the motion controls were pretty fun at the time, and the soundtrack! All of it! Literally all of it! has been covered by almost everyone on YouTube, talking about the bad shovelware, the memorable titles like Wii Sports, everything under the sun! So what's there left to talk about that already hasn't been covered? Well, today we're gonna take a simple route and talk about the many channels that inhabit the Wii's home screen. I'm serious. This little titled screen alone has enough power to hit me with a megaton of nostalgia. So please, join me as we take a walk down memory lane and its many Wii channels. So we start up our Wii and... Oh, baby! That's the good stuff. This has easily got to be the most pleasing menu on anything ever. It's peaceful music, bright and colorful channels, A++ Nintendo. The first channel we'll check out today is one that I personally rushed to when I first got my Wii, and I'm pretty sure I'm not alone in that sentiment. The Me Channel! Oh, baby, you have no idea how happy I am right now. The meme-worthy Me Channel, or the Meme Channel, I'm sorry, no more jokes. Anyway, this was the go-to place to create an avatar of yourself, and then throw them into the Wii universe. The character creation was simple, very simple, but it still got the job done. Creating a cute cartoon version of yourself and being represented by your favorite color was so fun. Like, yeah, that's me! Oh... The Me was actually pretty important to your overall Wii experience. There were a few games where you would actually have to control your Me and see them in the game, but most of the time they were just used as save files. Creating a Me was so addicting that it's pretty likely that you made your own little community full of Mees that were created. Family members, friends, nightmares, and Barack Obama! Hanging out in the Mii Plaza, seeing your Mii's walk around and listening to that graceful music, never fails to put a smile on my face. Up next, we got the Photo Channel. This is where, uh... Oh, hold on a second, it's gotta load. Alright, this is where young little Waffle got his first taste of photo editing. This is a really simple program. You'll have some pictures on an SD card and load it on your Wii. After that, you'll load up the photo channel and you can then edit your photos in pretty basic ways. I mean, come on, it's the Wii, it's not Photoshop. You can mess with the brightness, add colorful filters to your picture, or just simply scroll through them. After a vacation, my mom would always want to look at pictures she took through the photo channel, since the pictures would be displayed on the TV. But if you wanted to unleash your creative side, there were stamps you could put on the picture and even write on it using the motion controls, which is totally harder than it sounds. There's even mini games, one of which includes your picture being broken up into pieces and you need to put it back together. Nintendo, why are you so charming? The photo channel is a place that I never would have thought I needed, but here I am, full of nostalgia over a simple picture editor. All right, here's the... The Forecast Channel. It, uh, I mean, it does what you'd think. It tells you the weather. To be honest, I did use this channel a lot when I was a kid, mainly during the winter to see if it was gonna snow and get a possible snow day from school. I mean, it is handy, I guess. Playing with the globe is oddly entertaining. I also just felt empowered. Like, yeah, the Wii is such a powerhouse of a console. I can play games and look at the weather. Take that, Xbox! Oh yeah, now we're talking. The news channel! Come on, man, I never used this thing. Why would anyone under the age of 40 turn on their Nintendo Wii to look at the news? I also doubt there was ever anything controversial on this thing, considering, well, it's a Nintendo monitor channel. 
But hey, who knows? Maybe one day you turn on your Wii, go to the news channel, and 50 found dead in a lake. Suspect still at large. Too much reading. Zero out of ten. Ah, yes! My favorite Nintendo game! DEMOCRACY! This again is another super simple concept. You'd open up the channel and be greeted with super deep and thought-provoking questions like Can you write in cursive? And pizza or pasta? That one, that one's actually a tough one, but I think I'm on Team Pasta, baby! Let's do it! Damn it! I'm always being told that voting is important and that it's your civic duty to do so. The Everybody Votes channel gives you that opportunity. The questions themselves are usually pretty pedestrian. I mean, there's no deep thinking morality at play here. Just stuff like spicy food, yes or no. But hey, that's part of the fun. Picking your side and seeing how the world compares. Like, damn, Denmark, you really don't like pizza. The more you know. You can also post your own topics for people to vote in. This was yet another simple activity I was so addicted to. I just find joy in answering simple questions about myself. Questions that make you think, hmm, I guess I never really would have asked myself that. Have you ever wanted to use Facebook on your Nintendo Wii? Well, I hope not, because the internet channel wasn't super good. I mean, it tried its best using the Opera web browser, which is a thing, I guess. It's pretty slow and laggy, but I do have one fun memory of it. One time I got grounded and my parents took away my computer, but I still needed my fix of YouTube and Facebook, since that's what 15-year-olds did at the time. So desperate times called for desperate measures and secretly used my Wii to go on Facebook. Please don't tell on me, I'll get in so much trouble. PUNS! The Check Me Out channel is a place I visited pretty often when I wanted to fill up my Me Plaza with Me's while also being incredibly lazy. The Check Me Out channel was where users from all over the world could upload their Me masterpieces to show off. I mean, someone made the Mona Lisa on the Wii. Leonardo da Vinci also made the Mona Lisa, but he's dead now. So the Mona Lisa is the only thing that matters. Man, I didn't realize just how many channels the Wii actually had. Let's do a little lightning round now to talk about the channels that I just didn't have that much to talk about. The Homebrew Channel is a place where the ultimate hackers fled to when they wanted to do a multitude of possibly illegal things to their Wii. Modding games like Super Smash Bros. Brawl to have a specific character in there, change the aesthetic of the menu itself, add emulators, homebrews... There were so many Homebrew Channel specific games, like why? It honestly blew my mind. This was such an awesome place to mess around with when I was like 15. I truly felt like a hacker, putting files that I downloaded from a potentially sketchy website to put on an SD card. What? You don't know about the We No Ma channel? Everyone loves the We No Ma channel! <clears throat> What's the We No Ma channel? This was a channel exclusively available in Japan. Nintendo partnered with a Japanese advertising agency called Dentsu. I guess how this worked was you and eight other Miis could interact in this virtual living room and watch videos. Ones that were probably pretty lame considering they were most likely just commercials. I'm still not entirely clear on how this channel worked exactly. Was it just eight Miis on your Wii? Or were you able to connect online with eight friends and watch shows together? If that were the case, then I could see this definitely being a fun little channel. Answer me this. Have you ever been playing tanks on Wii Play and thought to yourself, Man! I could really go for some Pizza Hut right about now. Well, with the Nintendo Deme channel, you could do just that. Order food for delivery without even turning off your Wii. G what? Why? This is literally just Uber Eats like 10 years before it became a thing. And it's on your Wii. You'd select a food chain in Japan that I assume has a working relationship with Nintendo and order dinner. Pretty cool, honestly. I wish we had that here. Also, as a side note, Domino's is super expensive in Japan. $58 for a large pizza. Why? Netflix, YouTube. You watch stuff. Great review. 
That's the sign of a timeless console, when the main menu alone is enough to give you such a memorable and fun experience. But wait a minute, I feel like I'm forgetting something. That's right, the Wii Shop channel, baby! This channel has got everything you could ever want in life. A sick bop you'll be listening to for hours on your iPod Touch. You want to play old video games, but don't want to dust off your old NES? No problem! Virtual consoles are now a thing. This was before Nintendo was obsessed with playing old games on modern consoles and were shoving them everywhere. So here, it was incredibly charming to turn your Wii Remote on its side and play old school NES games. I couldn't believe it. But Connor, you boomer, what if old video games aren't your thing? Well, listen here, you little jerk, because they got WiiWare games. Original games that were usually super cheap in price, but high in value. World of Goo, Cave Story, Fluidity, Eduardo the Samurai Toaster, Muscle March, Pokemon Rumble. Even downloading the games were super charming. Watching Mario collect coins and hit the block to indicate progress. The Wii was one of those consoles you would turn on on a Wednesday morning. You could look up the weather and see that it's going to snow tomorrow, giving you a snow day from school. After that, you could do your part in democracy and vote, play Pokemon Rumble again, and when you get hungry, you can order some expensive Domino's pizza and watch YouTube when it shows up, all without turning off the console. And that, my friends, is why the Nintendo Wii is literally the best video game console of all time.